All right, so it's officially the 10th of May, 2017, and it's Wednesday, so it's going to be Mercury Day. Although we were shooting for, obviously, Mars Day initially. That was the plan. That we obviously can't beat the whole midnight thing. But um, So we have a T-square still with Lilith, with Mars and Ceres, and, and Neptune. So Neptune is the... The, essentially the, the connection between the soul or the divine and the ether, ether world and ours and our subconscious minds. Then we have Black Moon Lilith and True Lilith both conjunct together and they're in Sagittarius near the, the Midhaven. So that means that Black Moon Lilith representing that she's supposed to be the demon uh, the, the queen of demons or more or less or the mother of all ether spirits she's going to be aligned with the Midhaven, which is the the uh, alignment with God. And then we have Pluto in the 12th house right now. And this will this will be up until, uh, wow, this is up until 1.30 and it's 1 o'clock right now. So we're, cl we're getting close to Goldfield now. So the 12th house having to do with spirituality and Neptune house essentially. And then Pluto being like the paranormal Scorpio house. That would essentially mean that there'll be a significant, uh, significant energy specifically with paranormal phenomenon being able to reach out through, uh, the ether world or the spirit realm or whatever. And then we also have the death aspect conjunct with Chiron, conjunct with Eris. So, eh, you know, the death aspect can es essentially could be taken as literally a death aspect, but it could also be taken as people who are dead who would be having discussions with us, and that could essentially, you yeah. know, is the moon still in Scorpio? Yep, it sure is, still in Scorpio. So then we still have Lilith, Black Moon Lilith at nine degrees in Sagittarius. Yeah. All right, so 12, 11, 10, nine. All right, well, Scorpio's ruling over the ninth house of the mind, and ooh. The Pluto house is <laughs> is a, in Virgo. In the ninth house, your feeling of instinctive nature will find expression through some form of emotional attachment, social, ethical, or religious values. Uh, you may have an inherent need to expand your life through travel, study, or philosophy. Search for metaphysical truth. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Practical knowledge is often obtained through dreams and meditation. Your day-to-day -day response to circumstances is strongly conditioned by spiritual and ethical values. A moon-Pluto con uh, contact allows for deep expression and feelings of capacity and dynamic and dramatic emotional feelings and self-expression. You are adaptable, self-resilient uh, to change, and always able to make the best circumstances. You're emotionally sensitive, and you can influence others and, usu and usually get your own way by employing subtle <laughs> coercive, coercive tactics. To your, to your nature, um, you may you are an enterprising, courageous, and very fortunate in many ways. You, through your strong and vir virtuous spirit, but recklessness and over liber liber uh, liberality. Liberty. Yeah, there we go. Should always be avoided. Liberty. Square oh Neptune square Mars problems of behavior that must be recognized, overcome by related to strong emotional subconscious desires. Okay, so this is what was going on last night. Oh, it says neurosis. So. Neptune having to do with souls, and then Mars having to do with um, conflict. Uh, this would directly translate to to. Um, uh, <laughs> this would directly translate to um, paranormal shit being com um, argumentative or combative. Yeah. Ooh, we are here. Really? Yes, we are. Mercury Saturn contact modifies mental outlook and endows you with maturity. Methodical, rational, reliable, pr uh, productive thought. Um, you command a certain influence, but obtrusive powers over others, and will tend to be serious and faithful in social attachments. Okay. Okay. All right, so the schoolhouse is pretty fucked up. There's the Goldfields Hotel. It's pretty messed up. This looks like a town that time forgot. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh no, it's not not necessarily forgotten. It's uh. It's small. No, the people that uh died here still think it's here. <laughs> oh, so it's a good thing. There's the town. Goldfield Hotel. Are we going straight to the cemetery and working our way back? Uh, sure. Okay. All right. Because you just passed all the good stuff, so. Well, that's what I was trying to tell you. I was trying to tell you. 
that's okay. We can just go to the cemetery and work our way back. So we got to go back that way. So that works. Does it? Does it, it really? It does. It does. So we're going to go to the Goldfield Cemetery first. And um, this is the only one because I've actually looked to make sure that there, this, there's not multiple ones because a lot of old towns like this have multiple ones. But in fact, this is definitely only one because they've actually thoroughly dug up every single person who's ever been buried here and reburied them. And I'm actually pretty damn sure that they've even dug up in... in uh, uh, it's one of these turn turnoffs here. What is it? Get out of the well, okay. Well, if you have to worst case scenario, then you, uh... Turn around. Yeah, you turn around, yeah. Isn't there a tiny cemetery or something? Like, right there? Yeah, well, basically, it's a turnoff right here, but, I mean, I, I actually have never been here in the dark, so... You yeah, this should be it. Yep. There's some that way, but this is, uh... This is the brunt of it here. We can actually park wherever... Yes, I know. Yeah, we... Oh, yeah, that's We can just park here if we want. Yeah. Yep. Ooh. This is creepy as fuck. Yeah, it is. I drove through all this. Oh, you bitch ass. Was... Alright, man. <sighs> yep. You think we would fucking be smart and like bring a flashlight? Too? No. Okay. Shh. Hey, do you want to talk to ghosts or do you want to play your thingy? What? Do you want to stay in the car or something? Okay, well, let's do it afterwards. We just drove two hours to do this, and you want to play videos. I'm going to get a picture of this. Flash off. No, it's not a cop, and, and even so, there, there's no cops around here. Are you joking me? Ooh, it's already at 60. Damn, you guys are lively. Hey, guys. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Hello? We're here to talk. I've been here before. I've been here many times. Actually, before you all got your stones, too. Do you guys actually have all your correct stones on the same plots? Or did they mix up where your bodies are? I'm pretty sure they did. Right? Is there anybody that's left out here that doesn't have a stone that wants me to tell somebody that they were forgotten? Huh? Hey, would you like some help here? Your shit fell down. We tried. Put it back down. Yeah. I'm really busy. Are you okay? I'm okay, but I'm really busy. Do you want to go to the car? No, let's keep on going. Okay, alright. It's like going and coming in. Wow, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. No, no. Um. Hey, is there anybody do doing anything to Curtis right now? Can you please, if you are, that's stop? Oh, okay, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. You are your motor can. Communicate if you're there. I really do need to come with you. I'm not doing anything yet. You guys know that we mean no harm. Can you please make sure that Curtis doesn't feel sick? Could you do that? I'm trying to get the sign. Okay. Yep, there's something over there. Hey guys, who's in the Sacred Heart area? Come on. Oh, here we go. Hey, what's going on? Where are you at, sir? Right over here? Do you know why Curtis is feeling like this? Silent what? You don't want me to talk? Sir, are you still, are you still here? Practice, yeah. What do you mean practice, practice for who? What was that red light that's back there in the distance? That one back there, do you know what that is? 
sir. I see a red light back there, sir. Do you know what that is? Sure. Can you tell me what that light is? Is that one of you? Are you are you channeling through Curtis right now instead of me today? So what was that red light back there? You miss miss me? You miss me. You you remember me, don't you? I come back here every time I come through here. That's so weird. Yeah, because attach. Are you, uh -huh. are you attaching yourself to Curtis or me? And why would you want to do that? There's no need for you to come home with me, sir. Why would you want to do that? Review? Review what? Dude, can you fucking work? Adult? So, review adult. Chris, are you really okay? Good, you do. How many fingers in my helmet? Okay, he's fine. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Seriously. Can you, like, help me out here, dude? Oh, well, he's gone. That's why the light's off. Dude, can you guys make my camera work for five seconds? Seriously. You guys are killing me here. Sir? Isn't the light that's at the... That... Whoa. Isn't the light that's at the ridge of the mountain supposed to be a signal for you guys who were not who were not recognized as being buried here? That you were buried in the back and they forgot to label you? Because I'm pretty sure that's what I read. No. Like back there. I was like, aren't you back here, guys? Because I'm pretty sure that's what I read. That they forgot about you. That they dug you guys all up from inside Goldfield City Limits so they could move you out after the Great Fire. Do you remember that? And then they they carelessly brought you all here and and buried you in shallow graves and didn't label you. Do you remember that? Do you know that they did that? Ooh, it went up to 51. That were forgotten. What is that? Can you, like, let the camera work for five seconds? Ooh. Say cheese, guys. Stay still. Hello. Whatever you're doing is not doing doing the still thing really well. There you are. Ooh, wow. There's a lot of you over there, isn't it? Shit. Are you here? Are any of you guys like at the hotel in town? Is that what's going on here? Are you going to unclick anytime? Shutter? Wow, really? That took a long time now, didn't it? <laughs> Alright, so maybe you guys... Maybe there is nobody back over here anymore. Maybe I was wrong. Am I wrong? Okay. Oh, fuck! I don't go ahead in my goddamn ship. You fucking ow! The red, like, it did look like one of those, it looked like one of those Halloween, like, those fake Halloween fireplaces. Yeah. Exactly. That's exactly what it looked like. I think I can run this and take a picture at the same time, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I sure can. My phone does fucking everything. I can call the police. And I can, <laughs> I can talk to ghosts at the same time. Did you guys know that? If you guys ever have an emergency and you need to call 911, just call me. Ooh, I got an orb back there. Yeah. That's nice, guys. That's way far back there. There's no way my flash got that one. That was a good one. Oh, no. Don't do that, because... Okay. Ooh. What's up? What's going on, guys? I just caught you. I see you right now. I see you right now on my phone, and I haven't even taken a picture. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look, look, look. No, no. Come here. Look at my phone. 
Nope. Okay, you're killing me here. I was trying to show you how they're actually on my phone screen right now, and you're being... Now they're gone. You, like, tried to run in front of it. I know you want to be besties with them and everything, but I was trying to show you something fucking dumbass. <laughs> Come on, dude. Seriously. <laughs> you're, like, trying to bob and weave in front of it, and I'm like, no, no! I was trying to take a picture! <laughs> you fucking... Oh, God. I know, no. No, you're being a fucking card right now, and it's okay, but, I mean, I'm still gonna call you. <laughs> call you out on it. Ooh, ooh. They don't want to talk to us because we're, we're uh, too involved in ourselves. Ooh. Well, speaking of too involved in ourselves, what's up? Innocence. Innocence? Who's innocent? Curtis? I know, he can't hurt anything. <laughs> living. He says the innocence are living. Yeah, we're being, we're innocent here. We're just actually trying to talk to you guys and see what's up. You know, give you some company, maybe? Oh, we're ghost hunters. Well, no, we're not hunting you. You need her. You need me? Yeah, he just said need her. Need her. Are you listening to anything I'm saying right now? You're not listening to anything. Okay. A like? So you need me? That's kind of creepy. I can't stay here. You can't come with me though either. I mean, I could come back and visit. We. Rider. Are you saying rider like you need a like you're expecting me to be like a rider in the storm or something? Or are you talking about like riding riding out something? What do you need from me? You need a rider to the station? You need a ride to the station. Is that what you're saying? We're not going to Tonopah, though. Hi. Yeah, I'm not going to Ton I'm not going that way, though. I'm not going to Tonopah. No. He wants... He wa He says... Butterfly. Butterfly. You want to take a picture with me real quick? What do you need from me? You gone? You didn't think I was responding to you? Hello? You're killing me here. Oh God, I shouldn't say shit like that. God damn it. God. <laughs> okay, I, I'm sorry. I don't mean it like that. It's a pun. It's a pun. It's a joke. It's a joke. Okay. I'm gonna put my mask on or something because I'm cold as freak right now. Okay, please don't talk into my phone for a second. You know you just had to grab onto my boob to do that? I know you know that. You're fucking... You're not very, very, uh, polite. That is on audio, my my dear friend. You just totally did that. The beep, everybody knows what the beep means. Everybody knows what the beep means. We're gonna have a conference in my bra? No, no. <laughs> so, what conference are you talking about? Mainstream. Mainstream! Yes! That is what you're talking about, isn't it? That's the thing. That's the thing that people don't understand. It's not about the ego of them anymore. They don't They don't exist. They want people to understand how everything works. How you're taking... How we take everything... Countries. Right, countries. Yeah. It's how we take everything for granted and how it's... Un all the details are irrelevant, right? Airmen. Yeah. Amen. Airmen, yeah. Yeah. Combat. 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 Um, what about my brother? My brother is in, co in combat in ISIS. Is he going to be safe? Go walk Curtis back to the car real quick. Okay. Are you sure? Okay, I'll co I can come back too. Is there any obsidian around here? I totally want that. I need some more obsidian for negativity. Old fashioned. Old fashioned combat? Hold on. Oh, it's, oh, it's coyotes. In time. In time? Huh. Ooh, because of how he is. Tendency. Tendency. 
Okay, where is he? Yeah, but is he walking away from us? Yeah, he's not gonna come back this way, dude. He's out of it. You're you're the coherent one. I hope so. I got it. That's kind of scary, but hey, so it's just us. Want some alone time or something? Please don't grab my boob again. Let's not do that, okay? Let's stay let's stay old fashioned, like you said, right? Who is this here? Oh, is this the Knights of? Ooh. You guys are definitely the old-fashioned cut. Ooh, what the fuck is that? God damn it. Can you not touch my arm like that? Please? You're tripping me the fuck out, okay? Okay? It's not superstition. You were touching my arm. Don't play with me. You know that you touching my arm is not superstition. Okay? I felt it. I'm not stupid. Okay? Don't insult me, please. Sir. Okay? Let's let, let's all be friends here. Let's all be civil and gentlemen gentlemanly like. I will be ladylike to the best of my ability, although I've I have not been doing that well with that. I'm sorry. Dude, is that a light again? What the hell? I am sorry. I am just a little startled. Conversion. Conversion. Conversion to what? Oh, don't make me convert to a religion. I don't want to do that. I, I, can, I can't do that. I mean, you know? Tendency superstition to conversion. Huh. Okay. Sir? Oh, shit. Was that me or was that you? Help me out here. That was my dress, wasn't it? This is pretty trippy. Initiate. Oh, no, no. Let's not initiate anything like that, okay? Hey, conversion. Oh, hell no, you don't. No, you don't. I know exactly what you're talking about right now, and we are not having it. And you just went up to 51 as I'm walking away briskly. No, no, we're not doing this. You're not doing this. Do you hear me? Were you waiting to get me alone or something? You're not fucking doing this. You sure fucking aren't. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. I'm just a little spooked because I'm easily jumped. But I am not afraid of you. You are not conver converting or initiating conversion of any kind. And I know exactly what you mean by that now that you fucking said that. You are not doing that. I'm, I'm done being nice. This is not happening. This is what I get for being nice. So basically what you are insinuating, what you're trying to do, is what I've been actually speculating people have, like you have been trying to do to me since I started doing this. You are trying to essentially channel through me, which is totally fine for temporary use for you. Oh, see, there's the, there's the, there's the fire lights against the, the thing again. See, it's totally cool for me to, like, channel your message and help you and have a discussion with you, but fuck if you think you're getting in my body. That's fucking bullshit. There is not room for you in here. I will eat you alive, sir. I'm not even fucking joking. You not fucking do this to me. I don't give a fuck if you think that you can do it now that I'm by myself. I've been coming to these cemeteries by my fucking self for years, fool. Don't you remember me? Don't you recognize me? I love this cemetery. I've been here a lot. You didn't do it then, you're not going to do it now. Do you fucking understand me? Okay? I feel that you want me to be here. I don't. But if your, your motive to have me here is you think that you're going to violate my fucking personal space, no living person gets to do that, and no dead person's going to do that either. Do you fucking understand me? Okay? We can be friends. Or I can be the biggest, craziest fucking bitch you think. And I, will, I can do all... Uh, trust me. If you want to go ask the guy who's at the Swak Cemetery in Washington... It, and outside of Tanea, um, he can go ahead and tell you what fucking happens when you tr when you try to intimidate me like that. It's not fucking happening, okay? You got me? Do you fucking got me? Yeah. What are you gonna say? Say something. Come on. You're you're making it impossible for me to take pictures. So you're already obviously being uncooperative from the get go. I know that Neptune is squaring Mars right now, so I know that that's exactly what you're trying to do, and it's not gonna fucking happen. Do you understand me? Do you fucking understand me? You cannot grasp onto me anyway. 
My soul is in the middle of the galactic center. You just even coming into me, trying to, just trying to, because you're not going to be able to, trying to. You are going to be spit back out by the super galactic center. And you fucking know that. And that's actually why none of you can actually stay in me. That's exactly what it is. You guys have been channeling through me. I've been wanting to talk about this, but I've been a little bit hesitant to do it because I didn't know if I was going to be right or not. But I, I'm, I'm fully aware of this now. And I know that this is what you're trying to do, and you're not going to fucking do it. And I see that red light back there again, too. Nice try. I'm not fucking going back there again. Exactly. Oh, now you're here again. Okay, sir, is this the same person, or are you a new person? I'm going to take it to account that if you aren't talking, that you are the same person. Hmm? Is that true? Uh, mode. What about my mode? Hmm? Hmm? What? 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 Okay, I'm coming. What is going on with, what is going on with my friends? What? Are you guys okay? Album. Yeah. Oh yeah. So you've seen you've seen that I've been here before. I hate to call this short, but I know that you guys are doing something to Curtis, and you need to knock it off. And I feel you walking behind me right now. I sure do. I sure do. You are right back here. Yes, you are. Take the fucking picture. Stay still, asshole, now. Yeah, of course you're not going to stay still. Because God forbid. Yeah. Are you okay? Okay, You no, you tripped me out. I thought you guys were yelling that you needed help. What car? No, what white truck? Really? Really? Weird. Wow. Whoa, what the fuck is going on, dude? No, dude, I was getting... I, yeah, I was getting... No, I was getting... Yeah, sure, I was getting a little bombarded over there. Really? How far is the car? Because you should go get my knife. Just go get it. If that, if that truck comes back, I'm going to show him what... <laughs> This is another fascinating thing. So this is, again, so on Sunday when I was in Roslyn with Stacy, there was a random car that was looping around my vehicle. Maybe you guys want to give me some insight on this. Looping around my vehicle. And it was going back and forth up and down the street right near where me and Stacy were. And it actually pulled into the gates of one of the cemetery gates. Actually, the blacked out cemetery in particular. And then it flipped around and it left. Now, speed forward to Oregon. Stanfield, Oregon. Not only were there cars acting really weird around me, but there was a car in particular that violently flipped around and then pulled into the fucking thing. Pulled into the fucking cemetery. And those ladies were protecting me. And then now, my friends just ran over here and said that there's a truck that just came into the cemetery in the night. It is... What time is it? It is 1.55 in the morning. There is nobody in Goldfield at all. And there is apparently a truck that just drove through here right past Curtis and Chris with its lights off. And it's going around. And... Alright. So you guys really saw a car? No, I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm just... No lights on. Okay. Which way did it go? That way. Really? I didn't even hear it. Really? Wow. That's nuts. Are you guys going to talk to me anymore? Because, yet again, um, you know, how about we go back to town? Because it's 34% for my battery right now. We're working on 57 minutes. So unless, go ahead. Unless you guys have anything else to say, I'm going to go now. Cool. Oh. You know. Oh, shh, hold on, shh. They're saying something. Yes? How can I help you? Hello? 
Would you like to tell me about the white truck that just blazed by my friends? Since you're here. You just set my thing off, sir. Don't insult my intelligence. Sir. Don't insult my fucking intelligence. Do you hear me? Successfully. What is successfully about? Oh, you think that you've... Oh, no, you haven't. Trust me, you haven't. If you think I just flipped out that knife because you wanted me to, you are horribly mistaken. You apparently don't know who I am. Okay? I do this all day long. If you think that, like, you're... You, you somehow, like, work me up to an aggressive state to where I'm flicking knives out, like, uh, like not being very ladylike, you have mistaken the wrong fucking lady. <laughs> Professor. Professor about what? <laughs> Professor about what? Hmm. <laughs> Requirement. Requirement. Oh, hey, wait. So you guys are trying to teach me something. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So wait, wait. Yeah, no, no. He's trying to teach me not to be afraid. That's what you're doing, aren't you? Exactly. You are trying to teach me not to be afraid, and I stood up to you guys because somebody, I don't know if it was you earlier, said... Old-fashioned combat, a tendency in time for superstition conversion. That the motor pattern is successfully the professor requirement or obstacle. So, because I was getting anxious and I started to backtrack. Flower. Anyhow. Uh, he just, yeah. Anyhow, change the subject. Where's Curtis? He's in the car. Are you sure he's okay? Yes. All right, we'll go ahead and go tell him that we'll, we're going to go into town. I'll be there in a minute. Yeah, no, I'm fine. We have some power for the... Worries. Yeah, see? The guy just told me to worry. Go, go to... No, just take the camera with you. Session. All right, go. Worry session. Okay, no, I know. What about worrying? About Curtis? Is it justifiable for me to worry? Is he going to be okay? Or is it you guys doing this to him? Because I'm pretty sure it is. You guys doing this to him. I'm going to do something, okay? I'm going to try to take a selfie. Like, in the background, right? Okay. So obviously I'm not going to be able to have a light per se. So this is your chance to essentially take a selfie with me, okay? Ready? Oh, hold on, I don't know what you just said. Ooh, did you just do that in my hand? Why? Why? Do I want to take a selfie with you? Because I want to prove that you exist. I mean, do you have a problem with that? Ow! Did you do that to my hand, dude? That's not okay. I just felt like the pinched nerve in my arm. Okay. So you don't want to take a picture with me? Why not? Are you not a picture person? What'd you say? What? Noise. What about noise? Wait a minute. Shh. What noise? It's time to go, isn't it? Yep. It is time to go. Yep. Because the last time that one of you said this, this was right before. This is right before a car came for me. Yep. It sure was. And I'm not being here for that. I sure am not. I'm not doing it. Thank you. Uh, yeah, no. He just started warning me, like, about that. I, I didn't see the car, but I mean. I had my headlights on. I was coming up. I was like, is that a truck? Oh, no. I'm sure. I'm sure I believe you. Get in. Because this is this would be the third time that there's a random vehicle that just wildly is riding through the cemetery while I'm here. I got you, yeah. And these are all in three different states. So there's no fucking way. It was a white pickup truck and it was hauling ass. Okay, but what I'm saying is we need to go. Okay. We need to get okay. out of here. Okay. Can we do it here? Yeah, sorry. Like, we don't need to race off. Oh, shit. I just ripped my dress, didn't I? Sure did. We don't need to race off this day, but, like, he just sat there and said, Sort of saying shush and noise, and when that happened last time, yeah, and he, oh shit, it's on, great, dude, I'm not, I'm done with you, I'm, we're done. Ooh.
The red. Yeah, no. Um, the the uh, list of what he was saying to me, like, was startling. <laughs> That's why I was like, as soon as I got that, I was like, hell no. He's he's heard saying. Tendency. He says initiate mode pattern. And then he's like session, and then he starts saying noise, numerous noise. And I'm like, oh hell no, nope, nope, nope. That was, I I heard the truck and I couldn't see it, and then I looked and I was like, is that a white pickup truck with no lights on? And he was he was oh fuck. What? Oh, just low tire pressure. Oh damn. This is the front one. Okay. It's not too uh, uh, I don't know. Oof. Why you Yeah, no. Ow, Jesus. Pinch my fucking arm, too. Yeah, boy, I, he, I can definitely hear the truck that's, 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 I'm not saying that's like on you, it's just too bizarre. You know what's really weird? The white, the white Subaru that did that, that to me and Stacy uh -huh. in, in Roslyn. And then the white car that looks like this one in, um, yeah, right there, in um, in Oregon. And you just said a white pickup truck, right? Yep, white pickup truck. Like, I mean, I know, that white, I know that white is a common color, but, like, what are the fucking odds of that? Nevada, Oregon, and Washington. All three times were on all three different days. And that's the common denominator. Yeah. Well, and another thing that makes me instantly think of is that it makes me think of, like, black and white because everybody always thinks the darkness is bad, right? Yeah. And so, he was telling you not to be afraid? Well, no. No, it wasn't that. He was, a. Uh, essentially, after you guys walked away or something, it, he wasn't bad for a second, but, like, he started, like, it's like I felt like something, like, uh, either caught on to my dress or I heard my dress, like, slide on something. Mm -hmm. And then I turned around and, like, you know, kind of got spooked. And then he's, like, superstition. And then, and then I said, no, I'm not superstitious. You spooked me. And then he's all like conversion. And I'm like, conversion? And I'm like, oh, hell no. And then it went up to like 50, 55, 60. And I'm like, no, see, this is exactly. Yeah, I should just play the audio. Is, my fucking, is the audio still on even? It is on, isn't it? Well, fuck. Well, actually, that's actually kind of good because we just talked about all the cars and shit. Cool. Okay.